Hello, hope everyone's alright. It's about the 12th of April today, 2014. An update of where I am. This year I've had really big time constraints. So I've had to really be efficient on time management. I've germinated a vast amount at home, more than I normally do. It's now been a mild spring. That late winter I expected to hit has missed us and not arrived. And it could have it could have easily been germinated at, uh, here under cover. However, I didn't. It was easier for practically to repot and move here, or bring the trays and repot while I've been here. You notice the uh, stands are still covered with plastic. It's about that time of year where you start to think I need to remove them, or on a good, clear, blue, sunny day, you come back and your front plants have been fried. However, I always keep. Uh, some fleece handy, not really for frost I'm guessing at this stage, but really for sunburn or sun scorch probably in start of May. And if I put it away I'll forget about it. All my onions, bar the spring onions. Were set off in pots, so I avoid blanks. Um, they all went out a few weeks ago, along with the shallots, and I've just removed the fleece from inside here today, the main greenhouse. We might fog up here. I'm a bit uh, stuck between the wind, and you can't hear me and not seeing things so you could see the broad beans out there they were set off here I don't do everything at home you might notice start to bring down the tomatoes the taller ones they're still a bit leggy at the moment but they will harden up over the next week or two most of this is bedding plants in here although that's giant pumpkins I'm gonna have some problem planting them because they're very delicate we'll see I already broke two today uh, some of my bedding plants are a little bit behind as expected and probably in another two to four weeks I'll put up a, a maximum of five hanging baskets. That's what I'm allowing myself this year, no more. The biggest hanging baskets, the rest are going into the big boxes or in the flower border. In between times we had a dry spell for, well, dries for months and months and I was like a madman coming out early hours. As soon as it was light before work, trying to get most of my woodwork painted. Not be inside of this, but be outside. And apologies, we're going to go outside so you might lose some sound shortly. Lots of blossom this year, even though it's not been a cold winter. Can't quite get my head around that because I understood cold winters meant lots of blossom. There's a cherry I was training, I've shown that last year, I just tidied up the uh, trellis, not bad for $3.99. My onions just remained speeded up underneath the cloche, perhaps water them once every two weeks maybe, don't need an awful lot and when I get down to having to water them every few days it's time for that, or warm enough, for plastic to come off. You remember the garlic concoction I mentioned? Well, I think the addition of a general fertiliser potash has now been come back from those yellow chlorotic tips and they're really good this year, as mentioned. I try to keep it into an order, but at this time I tend to fall foul of it not so much cold frame at this stage. I tend to use for brassicas and they're a bit leggy still, but they will be going out in the next week or two. Time constraints means it's very difficult for me to do little bits such as put all this brassicas out without preparation so I need a good clear weekend which hasn't arose yet. You might remember I had my dud uh, onion sets, the baby ones which are not use, useless or well, there we are, they've the spring onions and I reckon about another four weeks they'll be pickable. In here I try and keep it as flowers, ignore those leaks, um, and I've 
got this fear we have a moment. Last year, I, last two years, I've been getting infections of green fly in the big greenhouse, and the dahlias always got hit first. And I'm starting to wonder whether these beasts actually propagate them from the, you know, eggs that are dormant in there. So I've kept them separate this year, and thus far, no problem. The lilies coming on and the calla lilies at the back and you can see they're bending a bit towards the light so when they get time they'll go out in the inner coal frame up at the top an open coal frame bishop's cloche i think someone called it here's one of the reasons why the baskets haven't been planted up the uh lobelia are still a little bit behind but they get to this strange stage now and they really respond well to to the light and the heat and just come on in leaps and bounds You might hear some music in the background, if someone's 50th or 60th or 40th, depending on which music they're playing. So these are my brassica beds. You can see I've lined them about twice because I used got acidic material this year. Still to be cleared. Uh, it's really warm in here. And I'm just showing you at last. I think it's two or three years old, this fig, brown turkey. I'm gonna get one, I hope. It's gonna stay under cover, I think, this year. So I'm hoping you can see the result of all my hard watching paint dry. It took me blooming ages. One advantage is I get to check out the integrity of the wood and the structures, see what's going or what will go in the near or distant future. So it's been a major job of painting and potting up and there's my uh, peach. Again, I've planted up on the uh, trellis work, some cheap canes. I'm just waiting now for the plants to uh, to go out, really. And as you can see, little bits are, are going out. Pear. I pulled that back last year to make an arch, and I can't believe in one year it's kept that way. And I know what someone's going to say, it's the wind that's kept it that way. Wrong, that's facing... Uh, that's facing into the west and we get westerlies as today. Another batch of those dud spring onions or onion sets coming on really well and then I've covered these just to speed them up and those I haven't covered up. Why? Well hopefully I can stagger the harvest. That's the theory but it doesn't always work. Another batch of shallots Peas are going out, there's a few sets around. And again, the upper garlic, which uh, Chinese garlic this, and uh, has responded well to that feed I told you about. Looks great, that cherry, doesn't it? It's a Canadian one, it's from the sun something, and the birds always get it, it's impossible to net. That's why I was doing training the one over there and the one over the shed. The system I used last year for the first time of putting individual bunches in netting, as you can see there's some remnants from last year, actually worked. As noted the big rush for the paint was because some of the trellis is going to come into, well it's going to get covered with the live plants and you can see the kiwi starting to open. I made sure I didn't neglect the flower border. I've got a feeling we're going to get wind interference shortly. Don't know whether you can see, uh, I always remember to stake before it gets too late. Probably a few more need to go in. It's a lot easier staking them at this stage before you start damaging or changing the shape of the plant. And we've probably got another couple of weeks of that spring display before it starts to die back. It'll get cleaned ready for the summer plants. Most of the top fruit now in blossom. 
sun like this, Apple, still waiting. Well, that's where I'm at. Chilies are still at home. I always think the bigger they are when they go in, the more chilies you get, more harvest. But I'm time limited and have to clear the big greenhouse over the next four to six weeks and they will then come down. We pretty much live a life undercover. Okay, that's all for now. I uh, hope you've been busy and the weather's been kind. Bye.